In CSS, you have properties like top and margin top, left and margin left, right and margin right, bottom and margin bottom. But what exactly is the difference between these properties? Isn't top and margin top the same thing? Well, in CSS, top and margin top are not the same thing and using them with your elements would cause different behaviors. When you use top, you are repositioning your elements, but when you use margins, you are pushing your elements. And if you don't understand what this means, don't worry, I have an example here, which I'm going to use to explain explain how these properties are different. I have a div with a class of container. In this container, I have a div with a class of box one, the other with the class of box two. For the styles, the container div has the width and height of max content. And max content means that the width and height of box one plus the width and height of box two is going to determine the width and height of container. Then I have a border for pixel solid red. For box one and box two, this has a width and height of 100 pixels. Box one has a black background color and box two has a blue background color. Now let's start with margin top on box one. Let's say I have a margin top of 50 pixels. Now before I refresh the page here, I want you to take note of the height of the container. So when I highlight on the div with the class of container, you can see the width is 108 and the height is 208. Now I have my margin top 50 pixels. Once I refresh, you can see few things change on the screen. First off, box one pushes box two. Initially, box two was somewhere around here but because box one now has a margin top with 50 pixels box one now pushes box two to this level here and another thing that happened is when you highlight on container now before the height of the container was 208 but now you have 258 so an extra 50 pixels has been added to the height of the container so when you are using margins be it margin top margin left margin right or margin bottom you are pushing an element and by pushing that element it's going to to affect other elements and also when you use margins the box model of an element would also be modified if you highlight box 2 box 2 doesn't have any margins you can see that the highlighted section which is the box model is just the space where box 2 is nothing else but if you highlight box 1 from the dev tools you can see on the screen that the highlighted section is box one itself plus the margin above it if you'd love to learn more about the box model in css i have a video for it and i'll leave a link in the video description below let's say we have top 50 pixels so we can see how differently it affects the elements if i refresh well nothing happens and the reason for that is in css top bottom left and right are called positioning properties and these properties can only be used on positioned elements also in css you have positioned and non-positioned elements non-positioned elements are elements with a position of static and position static is the default for all elements you have in your html while positioned elements are elements with a position of relative fixed absolute or sticky when you have these other properties your element becomes a positioned element or as i like to call it your element becomes positioned positionable now let's see what this whole positioning means now if i come here and i refresh one thing you notice is that the black box box one comes down but you can see that it doesn't affect box two box two stays the same level that it is in fact if i come to box two here and i add a position of relative and maybe a z index of two you can see that the level of box two stays the same it is not affected and let me take this back and the reason why it's not affected is that when you are using top bottom left or right you are repositioning an element you are not pushing the element as we saw previously when you use margins you are pushing the element and by pushing it will affect other things but in the case of positioning properties like top you are not pushing an element you are only taking the elements from one point and putting it in another point without affecting all the elements around also if you come here and you check the height of container you can see the height of container stays the same 208 by using a top of 50 pixels it doesn't affect the height of the parent container and also for the box model you can see that the highlighted section does not touch the space above it that is because we are not pushing this element we only took the element from where it was and put it in a different place so the box model for that element stays the same and let's see an example with margin left let's say we have a margin left of 50 pixels so now if i come here and refresh what do you notice if i highlight on container you can 
can see that the width of the container has changed. The width of the container before was 108, but by adding a margin left of 50 pixels, that now affects the container and the container now has 158 as the width. In this case, box one doesn't push box two because box two is below it, but box one affects the parent container. And by highlighting on box one again, you can see that the box model covers the margin plus the element itself. But then let's say we come here and we use left of 50 pixels. What do you see here? Well, box two is not still affected because it is below box one. But if you check container, you can see that the width and height of container stays the same. We are repositioning box one and by repositioning, it doesn't affect the elements around it. And now if I should highlight on box one, you can see that the box model for box one stays the same. So this is how margins and positioning properties like top, bottom, left, right are different. By using margins, you are which would push other things. But by using positioning properties, you are only repositioning your elements and it would not affect other things. So if you want to know when you should use one or the other, the important thing to consider is do you want this element to affect other elements? If in the case you want it to affect other elements, stay with your margins. But if in the case you just want to move an element without affecting others, then use your positioning properties. And I'll also recommend checking out my video on CSS positions as well as CSS box model, which is currently displayed on the screen.